Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. Gideon vs. Wainwright, what's up with that Supreme Court case? This is a 1963 Warren Court case. Warren, Earl Warren, um, is the Supreme Court Chief Justice, uh, so we call it the Warren Court. But it's a really great decision that you need to know whether you're in high school, college, or giddy up, a lifelong learner, cray cray. And the internet, it really doesn't matter. We're going to explain the court case for you so you understand it. Um, in 1961, Clarence Earl Gideon, um, some dude from uh, Panama City, Florida, uh, was charged with a crime and that crime was breaking and entering and larceny. Um, somebody had broken into a pool hall, did some damage, cigarette machine, stole some liquor, um, yada yada yada, and a witness had pointed out Earl Gideon, Clarence Gideon, to the popo, so he was arrested. He was brought to trial, and at trial he had asked for representation. He asked for an attorney in the state of Florida, and they were like, no. Because at that point, there's a word called stare decisis. Look at that word right there. Stare at the decision, stare decisis. The uh, reigning decision on attorney rights, whether you got an attorney or not, was a court case by the name of Powell versus Alabama. You might actually know something about this court case if you're familiar with the Scottsboro Boys. This is back in the 30s in Alabama where they're accused of uh, raping a white woman and um, they claim they didn't do it. They weren't really given adequate representation and the Supreme Court um, way back in 1932 um, selectively incorporated, they took the Fifth and the Sixth Amendment. This is important guys. The Fifth Amendment is due process. Process. The Sixth Amendment is your right to an attorney, and using the Fourteenth Amendment, that no state should deny you due process, they incorporated that rule that you got an attorney, but you only got one if it was a capital case or you were de uh, deemed to um, have some type of mental defect or something like that. None of that occurred for Clarence Gideon. So the court using Stardesis, Powell versus Alabama, says, no chump, you ain't getting one. What do you think about that? So, Clarence Gideon defends himself, and he does a horrible job. He's not a lawyer, man. So he gets convicted, and he does a cinco. He gets five years in the can. So when he's in the Florida penitentiary system, he takes advantage of the law library. And you can see right here that he penned his own writ of Shir Shashari. Um, you can see it's spelled a little bit different than what it sounds like, but this is a Latin term for basically appealing to the Supreme Court. He wants his court case heard. He believes his constitutional rights have been violated. So the court agrees, and you can see they accepted his pencil-written hand copy of this writ of Shishishari. Shishishari? What a weird word is that? I'm probably mispronouncing it. But nevertheless, we have ourselves a Supreme Court case. Um, the decision, and he's given adequate representation in the Supreme Court. In fact, his uh, defense attorney was, I believe, Abe Fortas, who will later be on the Supreme Court and then resign um, in a scandal in the 1960s. Way too much information. But basically, they're arguing that the Sixth Amendment, the right to an attorney, and the Fifth Amendment, the due process clause of the Fifth Amendment, that we uh, give everybody due process when we arrest them. And the 14th Amendment, no state shall deny its citizens, right, Florida, due process and equal protection. So we're going to selectively incorporate a new rule. And the new rule is simple, that if you're charged with a felony, any type of serious crime of, you know, serving more of a year in jail is what it's been interpreted to mean, that you're going to get an attorney if you can't afford one. And this is a huge decision because not only is it going to overturn Gideon's decision, and then he's going to be retried and found not guilty once he gets adequate representation, um, but it's also going to free something like 2,000 uh, uh, prisoners in Florida because they weren't given adequate representation when they held trial. And now we know we all have public defenders and anybody that can't afford a lawyer is given one. It's even in the Miranda rights, which is a different court case. But giddy up, I think you get the main idea. So that's Gideon versus Wainwright, right? I hope you get the court case now. It's going to be on the exam or it's going to be on Jeopardy or somebody's going to randomly threaten to punch you in the face if you don't know it one day. So there you go, guys. If you haven't subscribed to Hip Hughes History, we have like 200 million videos. Maybe not that many, but there's a lot. So click my face right here, and you'll zip off to the YouTubes to the YouTube channel, and you can decide whether or not you want to be a subscriber. Yeah! So there you go, guys. I'm going to leave you with uh, my, my quote. I say it all the time because it's true. Where attention goes, energy flows. So uh, you better be focusing. Giddy up. We'll see you next time. And do some teaching on the YouTubes.